Hello and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I'm your trainer Padmini and today I'm going to teach you how to speak about your free time. Well, we all have free time sometime or the other. We do different kinds of things in our free time. So what do you enjoy doing in your free time? And do you have any interesting hobbies? And why do you do it? Why do you like this particular activity? When do you do it? Or how often do you do it? So we are going to learn how to speak in simple sentences about our free time. Let's get started. The first thing you can talk about is what do you do in your free time or what do you enjoy doing in your free time or you can talk about any interesting hobby that you have. For example, you can say I love to play football in my free time or you can say in my free time I watch TV or you can just say I love to relax with my family in my free time. So the first thing you say is about what you enjoy doing in your free time. Now the next thing you can talk about is how often do you do your free time activities? We cannot do our free time activities every day. Maybe some small things we can do every day but maybe once a week, once a month we can do some free time activities. So let's Look at an example. I enjoy watching movies in my free time. I watch movies once a month. How often? Once a month. Or you can say I love shopping. Many people love shopping. We also love window shopping. What is window shopping? Looking at the shops, not buying anything really. So this is called window shopping. Even I love window shopping. So I love shopping and I go to shopping malls very often. So this is the way you can speak about how often you do a hobby or a free time activity. The next thing you can talk about is when do you do your free time activity? Well, you can say I read books at bedtime every day. I read books. I love reading books and I read books at bedtime every day. Or you can simply say, I enjoy my free time with my friends. I hang out with my friends. I go to a coffee shop on Sunday evenings. This is also one way of spending your free time. Or perhaps you can say, I love traveling. I go to new places maybe once a year. I love photography. What is photography? Taking some nice pictures of nature or even wildlife. So I love photography. I do some wildlife photography but I cannot do it very often. I don't get a chance to do it very often. This is about how often and when you do your hobbies. The next thing you can talk about is when did you start doing this free time activity. I started learning dance when I was just 10 years old. So this is how you can speak about some hobby or activity you started. This is an example. Another example you can say, I have been learning music for a year now. So this is to say when you actually started this free time activity. And the next thing you can talk about is, why did you start this activity? Did somebody motivate you? Did somebody inspire you? Or did somebody encourage you? Or you just liked it because somebody else was doing it? Why did you start this? For example, you can say, I love traveling because I can meet new people and know about new cultures. So why did you start this? So you can make these sentences and then put them all together. Now let's put 
everything together and just try out how we can speak. I'll give you an example. In my free time, I play chess with my father or with my friend. My father taught me how to play chess when I was very young. Initially, I didn't like it because it was very hard. But then I started loving chess. I started to love playing chess. And, and I think uh, playing chess makes me uh, think very logically. Playing chess also keeps my memory very sharp. So you can talk about different things. How often you do it, with whom you play, or why did you start it? And why did you like it so much? What did you think of it initially? So you can put all these sentences together and speak some interesting sentences about your free time. So I'm sure you're now ready to speak about your free time in a few sentences. Try to make these sentences simple and try to speak with confidence and ease. Try to be as natural as possible and remember whatever you speak should sound very interesting. I am sure you enjoyed watching this video and you have now learnt how to speak about your free time. When you speak, try to make it natural, interesting and speak with confidence and ease. I will be back with you very soon with more videos. Do like, share and subscribe to the videos. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.